Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack, episode seven of Game of Thrones, season five. <clears throat> Coming at you hot after episode six, unbowed, unbent, unbroken. Probably, I, I'd have to like look at, at a list of like the worst scenes in the show, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to say confidently or not confidently, the worst scene in Game of Thrones history is that final scene in episode six. We talked about it at length at the end of last episode. So definitely, if you're looking for that, check it out. Or if you want to forget mm -hmm. about it like me, don't. Uh, otherwise, great episode. A lot of uh, character development, stories progressing. Um, again, talked about all that once we got <clears throat> the unpleasant part of the discussion out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Igly, I believe there was one thing in particular you wanted to mention that we did not discuss. I didn't talk about the cock merchants. Uh, that that, sh that shit's funny. I talked about the rest of the scene and how it's going to be a fun ride, I imagine. Or mm -hmm, maybe mm -hmm, not. Mm -hmm. But there's actually one thing that occurred to me like minutes or moments ago. I am looking forward to the conversation between Tommen and his mother about what the hell just transpired in that little in that room. Yeah. I and how and how Cersei's gonna like like just worm her way out of that like or gaslight Tom into uh, oh she was bad for you. He, 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 uh, I'm just I I don't know how that shit that I need Tom to do something. I don't know. I don't know if he can, but I just I'm interested to in see what that conversation is gonna look like. But that's it. Yeah. It'll certainly be interesting. Um yeah, I feel like you hit all the key points in the last outro. Um, mm -hmm. This episode, getting into the late stages here in season five. This one's kind of a long boy by the looks of it. So, uh, are you guys ready to get average. into it? Or yeah. is there anything else it's you want to talk about? Always. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, before we get into it, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, that notification bell. It's your best friend. These drop every Sunday, but that notification bell, make sure you don't miss it. And if you want early access on Game of Thrones, we have up to four weeks available on our Patreon right now. Check that link in the description below. There's also early access to other shows and movies over there as well, as well as full links. So ton going on on the Patreon. Check out that link. There's also a link to join our free Discord and links to all of our socials. So click all those. Open all the tabs like Igly. Let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Let's do it. The North. We're on episode seven, right? Yeah. Okay. Y'all, yeah. dude, you're gaslighting me. I just saw the name of the director and I was confused. Okay. Hmm. These are not friendly eyes. Lord Commander, it is my duty to tell you I believe this mission to be reckless. Foolhardy. Oh, he's so polite. An to all the brothers who have died fighting the wildlands. Hey. It's what I used to kill the White Walker. What a guy. I hope you don't need them. Me too. Throw a hug. They better meet up again. Oh, little Sam. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> laugh. Well, that's cute. Egg. Egg? Egg laughs like that. His little brother, Aegon, he, he became Egg? a king. <laughs> He's called Egg. That, he was a jolly fella, like this one. <laughs> oh. It himself, Gellyflower. Before it's too late. Oh man. Is he is he bed right now? Theon, wait. Not Theon, my lady. Reek. Help me. You're his wife now. Theon. Theon? Do what he says. Do what he says or he'll hurt you. He already hurts me every night. All day I'm locked in this room and every night he comes. Jesus Christ. Can't be any worse. Kill him. It can always be worse. If she has bruises on her. 
What did you do to you? Please. You betrayed my family. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You don't be sorry, me. dude. See you do do something. Me. Climb to the top of the broken tower. Light this candle and put it in the window. Promise me, Theon. Read. My name is Reed. Your name is Theon Greyjoy. Pick his ass up. Last surviving son of Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands. Do you hear me? Theon. Promise me. You better. Why'd it take till now for them to have a goddamn conversation? You got one mission in your goddamn life. Jesus. Yes, Reek. Wow, just transition to a lit candle and somewhere else. God damn it. Mother's looking for you. Oh man, is he about to die? Sleep, Sam. I can't leave him now. Dude, what's he seeing right now? Egg. I dreamed that I was old. Yeah. His name was Aemon Targaryen. He came to us from King's Rest Landing. Rest in peace. Ilk character. He was the blood of the dragon. But and now only his one remains. And now his watch is ended. And now his watch is ended. You're losing all your friends, darling. Okay, bro. Why are you eyeing him like that? Were you about to have another mutiny? Goddamn chicken shit. <laughs> Our scouts report that Stannis Baratheon rides for Winterfell. He's a respected commander. Okay. One day I'll be Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. No, you won't. You'll be my lady and Wardeness. No, she won't. But isn't your stepmother pregnant? What of it? What happens if she has a boy? I've been naturalized by a royal decree from Tom and Baratheon. Another bastard. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm surprised he's speaking so oh, boldly. Bastards can rise high in the world. Uh huh. Like your half brother, Jon Snow. You're nothing like him. Born the bastard of Winterfell. Now the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Does she know? He didn't know. Yes, he's done very well. Ah, the papers that came in, huh? Ah. The woman. Your northern friend. Jesus Christ, Theon. Tough old bird. Ugh. Everyone talks when I start peeling them. But this one... Her heart gave out before I even got to her face. You should hold on to your candles. The nights are so long now. Dude, huge props to Ramsey's actor. Cause holy shit, man. Oh my god. Everyone says he's a really sweet guy in real life, the exact opposite of Ramsey, so it's very impressive. It it takes balls to to do that, man. Holy shit! Can't believe I'm rooting for a Stannis dub, bro. But his men, where, where's your fire, brother? Where's? Aren't you the Lord of Light? <laughs> Light your sword on fire! Or your men are freezing. What the hell? Forty horses died in the night. We'll lose more come sunset. We're running out. Stannis of food. is getting body. Holy the shit! Line until the snow clears. We march to victory, or. We march to defeat, but we go forward, only forward. Okay. Tough line. I have seen myself walk along the battlements of Winterfell. I have seen the flayed man banners lowered to the ground. Oh, Stannis there with you? 
Okay, dude. <laughs> this is your goat. I have shown you the power of King's blood. We don't have Robert's bastard here. No. We have someone better. And your blood runs through her veins. Have you lost your mind? Do you doubt me? There must be another way. Leeches or something. There is only one way. You must become king before the long night begins. All your life has led us to this moment. You're gonna sack your own daughter? This decision. She's my daughter. Get out. You're gonna sack your own daughter, bro. Jesus Christ. The beauty from beyond the wall. <laughs> Is it, can this episode get any worse? <laughs> Come on, love. Give us a kiss. Leave me alone. Oh, if you were my girl, I won't leave you alone. One little kiss. Come on, give him a kiss. Kill him. I guess lonely garden wall. But you just want a little affection. Ooh. Sam? Get your hands off her. Sam the Slayer. You're gonna slay me with that sword? You Who's will. Shake? Gilly. Come on. I'm warning you. Come on. Come on. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Come on. Dude. I said, get your hands off her. You're gonna get yourself killed. The love of John Snow's not here to see you. I killed a white walker. I killed a fan. I'll take my chances with you. Oh. Hey, we got friends still. Kill him. Sam. <laughs> Bro, seeing stars right now. Yeah. You're not just a bit woozy. <laughs> Mentally, I was getting ready to hate this show. Welcome. Holy shit, man! My heart can't take this shit. Welcome. This is the, this is the shit that bothers me, man. It's so bad. The next time you see something like that, you leave it alone. No. I will not. They would have... What kind of man would I be if I ran away when I saw someone hurting you? Beyond. True. Promise me. <laughs> Whatever happens, you'll take care of little Sam. Well, of course I will. I'll take care of you too. You better. The nice guy finally wins. Oh. I'm hurting you. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I need Ghost on 24 hour watch, man. <laughs> Come oh. on. Oh my. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Sam Dub. He killed the great Carl Drago. A single How about that. Betrayed by his woman. Bro. He sold himself into slavery to repay his debts. 15 gold honors. Do I hear 16? How much is Theon going to get? Not Tyrion going to get. Oh. They're they're a matching what? set. You have to buy me as well. We're a team. We're a team. I'm a great fighter too. <laughs> okay. It's funny. You have to give him that. Oh yes. Whip his ass. <laughs> oh my Damn. god. Is that convincing enough? All right. Funny. Uh, worth one. <laughs> Imagine if he didn't get by. <laughs> yes. You might run into trouble if you try to fight slaves in the fighting pits. Now, if you were to fight freedmen who would be paid a wage. Fight. <laughs> Where's your wages, funky man? Should last the rest of your life. Okay. That's how they're playing it. How long before the king of marine comes to claim my pillow? Don't be ridiculous. My marriage to his star 
It's political. I think the sons of the Harpy will stop killing because their leader was made king. Oh. Are you jealous? Do you think I'm petty enough to speak ill of a man just because he represents competition? I do. <laughs> You're right. My motivations are entirely impure. <laughs> Lewis is honest. Yeah. Everyone has a choice. Even slaves have a choice. Death or slavery. So what else can I do? Hmm? Marry me instead. Even if I wanted to do such an inadvisable thing, I couldn't. Why not? You are a queen. You can do what you like. No. I can't. Then you are the only person in Marine who's not free. Bar? It's been right now. On the day of the great games, gather all the great masters and wise masters and worthy masters you can find. And slaughter them all. Okay. I am a queen, not a butcher. All rulers are either butchers or meat. Hmm. Okay. You should have the decency to stand when you speak to a lady. You should have the decency to kneel before the gods. Don't spar with me, little fellow. <laughs> oh my God. A man of the people who does Circe's dirty work for her. I serve the gods. Okay. The gods demand justice. You live among murderers, thieves, and rapists. And yet you punish Loras for shagging some perfume pomps. Oh my and God. And Marjorie for defending her brother. Yes. When House Tyrell stops sending our crops to the capital, everyone here will starve. And I make sure the hungry know who's to blame. Have you ever sowed the field, Lady Elena? Have you ever reaped the grain? A lifetime of wealth and power has left you blind in one eye. You are the few. We are the many. We are about okay. to be the hungry, brother. And when the many stop fearing the few, Talk about a peasant revolt. <laughs> what is what is what is that? It's a bird. Ah. I am the king. The queen is in prison, and there is nothing I can do. Let's tell your mom back to Casterly Rock. Could have. No matter how strong you are, sooner or later you'll face circumstances beyond your control. Events you couldn't possibly have anticipated or prevented, even if you had. Mm -hmm. You cannot blame yourself for fate. 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 Okay. Your father, your brother, your grandfather. I was queen of the seven kingdoms, and what could I do? His father's still alive. This world. <laughs> I'll take back the sept and kill every last one of them. Mm, you want that to happen? I'll start a war if I have to. You know as well as I do who the first casualty of that war would be. I love her. I love her. Oh, she's getting to him. I can't help her. Or he's getting to her. I will speak with the High Sparrow. There must be something... Let me talk to him on your behalf. Okay, yeah. I'll do everything I can to win her freedom and her brothers. Your happiness is all I want in this world. I feel like that's not going to go her way at that I point. Know. No, you don't. I would do anything for you. Mm-hmm. Anything to keep you from harm. I would burn cities to the ground. You are all that matters. You. And your sister. My boy. My only boy. Okay. Interesting. The drip. Prince Duran hopes this satisfies your concerns about the princess's well-being. You looked different when I left. You had more hair. And more hands. I've come to take you home. This is my home. This has been my home for years. I didn't want to come yes. here. But she told me to. I did what she said. I did my duty and now she's forcing me to go back. It's for your own good. 
I love Tristane. I'm going to marry him and we're staying right here. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You don't know me. Mm. Damn. Brothers, oh brothers, my days here are done. The Dornishman's taken <laughs> my life. And I've tasted the Dornishman's <laughs> wife. I have. I've tasted the Bro, this is torture for them, I imagine. Wife. What a banger. Even though he's killing it. I mean, he's killing it. Oh, she liked it. He's got a good voice. It's just facts. We're lucky he's a singer. Mm. If he were a fighter, we might have been in trouble. Oh. It's against my code to hurt a woman. Dornish women are the most beautiful women in the world. Thank you. I said Dornish women. I didn't say you. <laughs> uh, damn, bro. I'm not the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. I've seen quite a few women in all the Seven Kingdoms. Name one more beautiful than I am. In King's Landing, <laughs> there was an absolutely uh. <laughs> gorgeous... Okay. There was a what? That's <laughs> a train of thought. In King's Landing, you were saying. There was a woman more beautiful than I am. <laughs> was that? My memory's not what it was earlier. It's a bit older now. How's your arm now? You seem concerned with it. You must really <laughs> like me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and how about your head? Which head? <laughs> Bruh. My head. Oh, come on, cameraman. My head. You don't even want to know what's going on. My wait. brother in Christ. Wait, wait, it was a bait? Oh my god, wait. What's going on? The po- The poison- It was poison. She's raising his heart rate. His nose is bleeding. And it's po- it's go The poison is going through his body. It's nothing. It's the dry air. No, not like this. My dagger was coated with a special ointment from Ashai. They call it the long farewell. Don't kill my man in a prison cell, bro. He deserves more. Is that the antidote? The only antidote. Aw, oh, shit. Who's the most beautiful woman in the world? Sorry? Who? You. Don't drop it. Good catch. I think you're very handsome as well. <laughs> let's go. Almost died. But let's go. I really like that scene. Oh my god, I thought they were gonna kill my man. Uh, how's your how's your brothel doing? In shambles. I promise you I promise you, Lord Baelish, that our fates are joined. Together we murdered a king. Oh. If my house should fall, I will have nothing to hide. And if I should meet with some accident here at your broken little flesh market, mm. they'll never even find what's left of you. I have a gift for you. A gift? What kind of gift? The same kind I gave Cersei. A handsome young man. What? Valar Morghulis. Prepare yourselves. Or on the bench. Sitting through the great games will be bad enough. For generations. Oh my god, bro, what if she games? It has been customary for our ruler to make the rounds of the lower pits. Damn. She could have saw him. If he got picked. <laughs> Gotta make it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we fight and die for your glory. Your glorious queen. We fight and die for your glory. Oh shit. Oh. So they're like, his star? <laughs> oh, brutal. <laughs> okay. Isn't this great? Yeah. I see what all the hype is about. It's just like the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Yeah! Sit down, new man. I think I've seen enough. 
Your Grace, it, it is a tradition for the Queen to stay until the victor has emerged. Okay, yeah, what does the victor get? What are you doing? Oh, why? Why is he chained up? Why was Jora? <laughs> ah, damn. Oh. Oh, that stone hand doing work. <laughs> oh, Tyrion, you gotta get out, brother. Ooh, oh, an arm. <laughs> oh, the flail. Oh. Oh. oh my god, bro. Hey. No. Hey. What a guy. What a, I, I don't know who that man is, but I could kiss him. <laughs> okay, Jory, you got one. You got one chance at this. He's the winner. Get him out of my sight. Galicia, Holy please. shit. I brought you a gift. It's true. He has. Who are you? I am the gift. Okay. <laughs> Great gift. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Your Grace. My name is Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> She's so confused. Oh my god. This is horrible. Unacceptable. Oh yeah? I brought you this. Venison. It's quite good. Smile. We did everything we could from the moment they took your brother. Tommen even went to the set himself to confront the High Sparrow. Mm -hmm. The lies come easily to you. Everyone knows that. But innocence, decency, concern. You're not very good at those, I'm afraid. Perhaps that's why your son was so eager to cast you aside for me. Oh, we're still shit-talking. My son needs me now more than ever. Get out, you hateful bitch! Okay. That smirk. Cersei's such a snake, man. Just want there to go glow in her face. Surely... The High Sept has heard about the rumors about incest. Thank you, High Septon, for bringing them whatever justice they deserve. Uh huh. In the eyes of the Seven, the Tyrells' finery will be stripped away. Okay. Their lies knocked down, their true hearts laid bare for all to see, and so it will be for all of us, mm. high and low alike. Cersei as well, perhaps. What will we find? When we strip away your finery. Mm. I wonder. The young man that face. came to us not long ago. Broken in body and spirit. Oh, Lancel. He had so much to strip away. Mm hmm So much weighing him down. Mm hmm Now his soul is so light, he will float through the seven heavens like a bird. I know she's screaming on the inside. Hmm. And he has much to say about you. As do many. By God. That's Lancel Lannister's music. He has his own track. Looking like he snitched to the teacher. Damn. He's going one on one with the Undertaker tonight, Cersei. That's crazy. All you have to do is not like. Move. Let me go immediately. You will order her to let me go. I am the queen. I am the queen. I have lost your mind. Quite the queen's in the dungeon. Ah, oh, such a goaded scene. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. This I like. The rest of the shit, nah. Look at my face. Mm hmm. It's the last thing you'll see before you die. Okay. Oh my god, the, the track's going hard. Mm -hmm. Great way to end the episode. Great way to end the episode. Cersei L's are my favorite.
the way her face, again, amazing job on the actress, the look on her face when like as the high sept is just calling her out on her shit, she's just piecing together that Lancel snitched on her, on her desires, let's say. She's just keeping that face up, but you know she's the she smirk got stuck, dude. The smirk <laughs> you was just stuck because she's inside all the chaos mm-hmm. going on. Amazing. Now, this this equal distribution of justice. I I can get behind. I did not like the the previous things. Uh that I like are just a little bit. A little bit bad, but like, this man means business. I don't know if I can overlook what's happened in the previous like two or three episodes that he's done, but th- this is this is a dub, you know. Mm-hmm. I think we can get all get behind that. Yeah, Cersei being in jail is definitely a dub. Mm-hmm. Should mm-hmm. should have put him put her in the same cell as Marjorie. Oh man, imagine if like they like they're just like cell like not cellmates but like just kind of opposite from each other (laughs) oh my god that's that's amazing so yeah this high sept i could see it going this way he is he made use of the situation i feel like he is a pretty smart man he knew he was being used by Cersei in the beginning but allowed it to get himself into a position in power and now he is distributing his justice uh, onto all and he's just cut, he's grown out of control yep that shit is interesting I don't um, so what now what does is, what is Tommen do both his mom and his wife are locked up well, it's, it's, I don't know, man. Like, Tommen is more or less alone. No one left to whisper in his ear. But I'm, sh- I'm sure he must be so goddamn confused. What would you do in his position? He talked about going to war. Raise up an army. Go on a war with the high, against the high sept. Uh, I feel like he might follow suit because for lack of a better choice. Because it's two people he cares about. Now, I believe, I mean, like Cersei, again, like the one thing she doesn't lie about is about her kids, about her feelings towards her kids. She will lie to her kids, but she does not (laughs) lie about her love for her kids. That much is true. I was wondering, like, in the position, like, she found herself in, I feel like she, she knew it kind of backfired because if Marjorie's jailed, Tommen is upset. Obviously, she doesn't want Tommen to be upset, but if he's talking about going to war, it's the high step, she needs to prevent that. So, obviously, she doesn't want Marjorie out. So, she's just kind of keeping things going until I don't know what plan they had. But. Yeah, like I think I think Tommen's gonna do some crazy shit, and it's it's gonna it's gonna come to a boil in a couple episodes, I imagine, because we are nearing the penultimate. But that shit's gonna. I, I feel like thing is like if if Tommen's out, if he does some create like if, some crazy shit, and it, like he crashes and burn, who who who's left? You know, but. That's left to be seen. I don't really have anything else to add on that, but holy shit, that's that's like that was that was satisfying. Uh I absolutely hated like the first twenty minutes of this episode. That shit was ass. <laughs> the stuff involving Sansa, the stuff involving 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 Gilly. I hate that shit. I don't want to see that. That's yeah. like those two scenes so close uh like almost not it wasn't back to back but might as well have been back to back the same episode 
my only thoughts were like, holy, oh, this show is ass. I hate this. I'm, I'm dropping this. Corey and Blaker, uh, like, we're going to have to end this series here if this goes on too far. No, we'd keep going. Okay, without me. <laughs> me and Blaker is going to, like, literally watch Game of Thrones and not say anything. Yeah, it's just going to be silence the entire time. <laughs> uh, I, wonder how, I wonder how Igly would feel here. He'd yeah. probably be upset. I, I, Igly would probably really like this had he stuck with the show. <laughs> I'll see it through to the end, but like, there's just like that, that feeling. Like I, I don't want to watch this anymore if this goes on. That's just how like repulsed I was, I was getting. So props on the show for making me feel disgusted. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's understandable. It's relatable. It's understandable. Yeah. I, it's, 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 it's amazing. All the bitches in the wall, like, want to start shit as soon as Daddy John's out of the <laughs> house. Then they get the balls to actually act. But, like, Alistair Thorne saying your friend, like, you're running out of friends. To saying this, saying that to Sam is is crazy. I thought, I thought like we were we vibing. I thought he was, I thought he was chill at this point. But like it seems like he it seems like he really dislikes everything. I mean, like maybe it's. It, I think a lot of it is coming. Okay, J- John does not have like the highest like popular opinion. Is like it. Well, what was that shit they do for the president? Approval rating after <laughs> announcing his plan to conjoin uh, the free people with the Night's Watch. Now, we, we saw the eyes staring him down. Him and Tormund down. Uh, like at the beginning of the episode, those were not friendly, uh, friendly eyes. They panned to goddamn Ollie like five, six times. Yeah. So it's without John. The Night's Watch, the wall is just like a, a, dis, a dis dangerous pale place. I don't want anyone I care about to be here anymore. Especially Gilly, because if they're acting like this, I like his only friend left is 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 ghost. But like I need I need nothing bad to happen to Gilly and Sam, but I'm probably hoping for a miracle. Uh, Eamon passing away is very sad. We've actually gotten like the first notion of the passage of time this episode with Marcella stating that it's been years since she's been here. And I mean, that coupled with, hey, it's starting to snow. Seasons are changing. I know you've, st- you've told me seasons aren't le- like a little bit different in this show. They're long. Uh, Amen. Dying things are beginning to change. Things are going to get so much goddamn worse. I imagine this is only the beginning. Because if we're still in summer and this all this nefarious shit was happening, all this disgusting stuff, I can only imagine how it is going to when that winter actually is here. Mm-hmm. People are already at each other's throats, and like there, there, there's there, there's some shit coming. Uh, Stannis's army, army is getting bodied. I like again, like you're not you're not selling me on Stannis. The the amount of good scenes versus the amount of like, okay, this dude is he I mean, he was literally like just kind of like copping a feel this episode. I still like when Yeah, I wrote the show, bro. He's trying to you stay wrote the show. <laughs> yeah. trying to, like, I'm not selling you on Stannis. My my fault. My writing was shit. That's on me. Better. I'll do better, do better next time. Okay. Um but I, I like this. The, the 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 my favorite scene with Stannis has got to be his scene with his daughter that we got a couple episodes ago. Yeah. Does he sacrifice his daughter? He seems like he cares a lot about her, but will he do it for let let us suppose a greater good for his ambition? That's what this entire journey has been towards that's been building for him i feel like it's too it'd be like if he backs down now then what it's all wasted it's like uh like a sunk cost cost fallacy at this point if he backs down now he likely can't take the north his men are getting bodied by the cold the mercenaries that i think sir davos 
like said, hey, let's get some marks dipped. So, so Davos ain't looking too good right now because he made that call. I feel like he's going to come to a conclusion and sacrifice his daughter. I don't want to see that. But given what we've seen of Stannis, I don't, in terms of what he values more, his daughter or his ambition, I would say the way he's been presented, uh, the way he's been presented, he's a slave to his ambition. And yeah, I don't want it to happen, but like I said, uh, it's, it's how it's seeming to me. Uh, I hate Theon even more than last episode. I did not know that could happen. But it was masterful pacing on how, like, on how to make me feel disgusted by having Sansa beg him for help, seeing her bruised and battered. And like now, finally talking to Theon. And Theon saying, you know, you don't know how bad it can get. But still, being too afraid to act. Sansa asking him to go light the candle, put it on the tower. And then it panning to Ramsay's room. And then to the tower of which like Sansa was say, like referring to. And Brienne looking at it. And there being no candle. To then a candle in like... Sick bait, huh? Who, 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 whose room did it pick? It was in Eamon's. It, it was at the wall. It was in Eamon's room, yeah. It was, it was like, you're, 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 you're kicking me, brother. Uh, like, uh, like, the, the, the show is Tyrion, like, I'm, I'm that kid, like that kid Tyrion was beating with his, the chain, but the, the show is Tyrion. I'm, the, I'm that kid hunched over. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, that's messed up, man. Oh, I hate Ramsey. Again, like, I, I said it mid-episode, but like, props to the actor. I I could never. Because, like, that... Holy shit. Uh, let's see. Slave auction. That guy talked about, wait, 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 I talked about Tyrion beating a slave, like, beating the, the slave. I don't know who, 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 who was that he was beating? Just, like, one of the slavers? One of the, yeah. Okay, okay. So Tyrion beating a slaver <laughs> to like convince himself to be bought. That shit's funny. Really intense scene with Jorah like like busting out like or like leaving like hearing that Danny's there and going out and just smirking everyone. And then like just <laughs> Tyrion joining like I, I am I am the gift. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit is just that's so comedic and she's just so got, uh, confused I like the way he I, did it too he had her really impressed by not killing them he was like knocking them out with his hands that was I was go, I was like wondering that he's not killing them he's it's like, like he understands what Danny's about she, need, I, she needs to see him as an ally there can't be any other way she needs to see him as an ally cause I mean, she kind of needs them. You need allies. Get to Jorah. Get Tyrion. Those are two massive. Not well, not massive, but like non two in, like non stature, but like two impressive units to add to your council. And plus, I I just want to see that. I want to see that link up. I want to see that team up. But like the 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 fighting pits, like from what I've seen, like. They they ain't shit. Like I understand how it's presented in the sh like like ah uh, this this being this noble thing people can fight for glory and shit. We've uh, but the way they're getting around it, not being slaves, is just like giving like giving they might next to not get like paying them next to nothing. The slave master to his former slaves is still just kind of telling them to go fight. Pretty much, maybe they have a choice. Sure. But like, it's like there's, it's like there's nothing noble about it. It's just people killing each other. It's not like this, like what this, it's not, it's not, it's being, it was presented as this noble sport, but it's like, eh, it's whatever. What, what do they get? It, they get to go, they get to live only, another day. Only the one who like wins it wins. all or wins. It's like a battle royale, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's just like, this man is making it. 
uh, try make it trying to make it so impressive but like i guess they said it was like the lower lower rounds or something it's like leading up to like a more grand thing so i don't like i don't know how many bodies need to die for like the one person to get like something noteworthy for it to be like worth it but it, it does not seem worth it at all and sir, sir uh danny wasn't having it she was disgusted she wanted to leave uh jamie and marcella that what a scene jamie's really really has been an absent father in his kid's life not not necessarily his fault he's been needed elsewhere it's not like it, it was been by choice uh i mean it was it was Tyrion who kind of sent her away maybe for the best maybe she can have a happy life here it seems like she's been like doing okay until uh, some assassins tried to kill her and also braun almost dying in a cell holy shit <laughs> i'm glad my boy's still alive that was pretty comedic oh my god uh one bit that was really interesting that like i feel like has implications that will be revealed later but you can they can be a thought about now is when uh peter was talking to i forgot her name again elena elena the old Ele- elena in, in his in his in his tavern about tavern a handsome young man tavern not brothel <laughs> it's not a tavern i he he gi- he gifted a handsome young man and he said like the same thing to he has a gift what is it the same thing i give the Lannisters, a handsome young man. So, what can be inferred for that? Did she? Did did did, did Peter have a part in? Uh, Sir Loras getting uh, like both Sir Loras and Marjorie getting locked up. Was that handsome? Like, was that witness working for Peter? Yeah. Also, is the is is the witness also being jailed? Because he oh, was engaging in that type, that type of stuff, I don't know how. Uh, that's uh, that's something else. Do you think so the, faith, the same, uh, uh, offers plea deals? Plea, yeah, exactly. That's why I'm like, is that like, is that what's going on here? Okay, I thought justice was equal before all, or maybe he re- he renounced his his he his his sin, so to speak, and he he was forgiven. That's that's the plea deal. I guess you get forgiven. So it's twisted. Whatever. Uh but the same thing is Lancel part of Peter's plan as well. That's something interesting to think about. Maybe not directly, but like influenced him to go there. Not like again, not directly, but like that's uh, is that it, it? It immediately followed in the same episode with, with Cersei getting locked up. So I can't. I kind of predicted, like I anticipated that back when Lancel found God, shaved his head, his 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 Lancel locks, and like I already know he was going to be a blabbermouth. So uh, it's it's amazing how it's come to fruition. But yeah, a lot of interesting bits to think about. I think that was all the high points this episode. Yeah. Uh, I... poor. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I was gonna rip the old lady that got flayed. I feel oh, so yeah. bad for Sansa. Rest in peace to her, and rest in peace to Aemon. Um, mm-hmm. and I guess the unnamed characters that died in the fighting pits. Uh, mm-hmm. also shout out to the unnamed guy, the big dude who freed Tyrion, the goat. Yeah, I was... <laughs> amazing. What a guy. But uh, my favorite scene from the episode, uh, I guess it's when Jory goes out there, like he hears the queen is there, he has the helmet on and he's just like wailing on everybody and impressing her Mm -hmm. and you see her smile Mm -hmm. and then he reveals himself and Tyrion shows up. Of course, that that is the end scene of the episode. It's meant to be, you know, Mm -hmm. well received. But other than that, the, uh, the bronze scene, I just think it's hilarious. And the first time I watched it, I was really worrying about him dying because he was one of my favorite characters and he still is on the third watch through 
but mm -hmm. the fact that she gives him the antidote and is like risen him up at the same time I think it's great. <laughs> That's humorous, yo. Um, my favorite scene is definitely Tyrion interacting with Daenerys the first time. Um, yeah. It's just really I cool. Moved. Because we've talked about it before a little bit, but I really enjoy when the, the storylines finally collide, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's probably my favorite from this episode. Yeah, for sure. Anything else, Mr. Igley? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll reiterate that this half, half this episode was just good. <laughs> All the good shit happened in the latter half of that episode. The first half was no. like, just like super depressing. Mm hmm. I'm glad, like, if it, if it weren't for, like, the, the Jorah and Tyrion scene, uh, scenes, like, this would actually, like, be, like, one of, like, my least favorite episode. Okay. Because nothing, I mean, like, what are my least favorite episodes? Because nothing good happened in this one. I'm not, like, that's, yeah, they, I'm not trying to say this is worse than, like, Red Wedding or the, the episode preceding this one, but, like, you get what I'm saying. Yep. Okay. All right. Anything, Corey? Good. Okay, well, we're done. But before you click off this video, hit that like button, subscribe to that notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. But if you want to wait for it, to four weeks early access on the Patreon right now. So you should definitely go check that out because you know why. We also have a link to join our free Discord in the description with a link to join Patreon and links to our socials down there as well. See you guys in the next one. See ya. They know why. Hmm.